Chris Ponte, Oregon Cop Watcher. This is a violation of a stocking order. Someone called in saying their husband was out here starting some shit with the lady that's got a stocking order on him. How you she doing? Don't take a selfie. No. I was using it the opposite way to record the cops right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> huh? Why are you recording that? Oh, we just film them, try to hold them accountable. Oh, they 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 pretty they pretty okay. Yeah. That's good. Unless you find the cops wrong way. Oh yeah. Otherwise, they daddy all around here now. That's good to know. And he just leaving. What kind of shit is that? Yeah, he's leaving. We just walked past, right past the address where the guy, he's going back around. Huh? Oh, we're, uh, just so you know, I'm audio and video recording. Just, I just gotta let you know. Uh, the, huh? For what? We're, we're cop watchers. We uh, listen to the police radio, try to hold the cops accountable, make sure they're not hurting anyone, pretty much. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and we heard on the radio that there was a call right over here. Oh, okay. And, oh, that's them right there, huh? Yeah. Just YouTube stuff, you know? Right, yeah, have at it, man. <clears throat> Probably trying to run my damn shit, but I just got out. Huh, huh. <laughs> Me and my brother just got out of jail. If you, yeah, if you're just walking down the street, they don't, need, they, they have no right to. You don't have to give me your ID. They will. They'll fuck with me. Usually. Nine times out of ten. Hey, baby, how you doing, hey, what's up? What up? And that's that. So the officer didn't make contact with whoever was supposedly, uh, what do you call it, um, violating a uh, protective order. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off.